Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and welcome to another video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, I'm going to be talking about PHP die and exit, and these are two really useful functions that you should get used to using in your program so you can cut the script at any point where you may receive a, a fatal error in which you don't want to execute any more code. Now, let me just show you, demonstrate how this works. Let's say I want to echo out hello and a space. And down here, I want to echo out a space and world. Now, if we were to run this, if we were to run this normally, we refresh our browser. You can see it will just produce the result "Hello World" because we've included "Hello" with a space and we've included "World." Now, let me just use the die feature in here. Um, what this is going to do is, it, from this point onwards, is going to kill the rest of the page. Okay, so let's re um, have a look at the result in the browser. Okay, so we're just receiving the um, the uh, string hello. Now, why is this useful? I mean, um, uh, bear in mind you can also use exit as well. Um, this does exactly the same thing. If we refresh, we're getting the same result. Now, why would we want to kill our script? Um, in the middle of a page. I mean, first of all, di using die and exit are exactly the same thing. Um, bear in mind, you can also um, part of this function, uh, you can specify um, an error in here, so you can use a, some string to output. So, error page has ended. For example, um, let's just echo again the world part of this page so if we uh, refresh you can see that we've um, received this message so you can do that if you want and you can do exactly the same thing with exit as well there we go same thing so how do we use this in a real-life example and why is it useful okay so without overcomplicating things I'm going to attempt now to connect to um, a database. Now, whether you've come across databases yet or not, this is an example to show you how die or exit can be used. Now, to connect to a MySQL database, we use the MySQL connect function and we supply it with three. I mean, we've looked at functions anyway, so that you should really understand this um, at this point um, anyway. So, I'm connecting to localhost my username is Alex and I don't I don't specify a password because I'm running on a local server so what do I do if this is wrong now at the moment if I refresh the page nothing um, oh okay um, oh no okay so, sorry my username is root so I've already produced myself an error so if I refresh there okay so that's that's connected absolutely fine so we know that that's connected because we've not received an error uh, that might not necessarily be the case but I know that my username is root my password is blank and the and I'm connecting to my local server so what happens if we want to specify our own error if this hasn't connected so for example or die could not connect to database what I've essentially done here is used or so it's a logical operator we've said or we can also say or like this so or die if this is unsuccessful we want to die and produce this error to the page so at the moment nothing's happening so I can echo down here connected and I refresh and I refresh and I receive the error, uh, the message connected. Now, what if I change this around? So I want to connect to, um, in fact, let's just change this back to Alex because I know that's not my username. Now, when I refresh, you can see that we've killed the page. This has produced an error and we've specified our own error as well. Now, what if we want to uh, get rid of this error and we just want to display this error. Um, we've already displayed our user friendly. We just pop an at before. Just pop an at beforehand. Now when we refresh, we basically are just left with could not connect to database. So this is essentially a user friendly way of connecting to the database or killing the page 
um, obviously we're not now output and connected killing the page and saying could not connect to database so that's essentially what we've done uh, like I said before you can replace that with uh, the double vertical lines and it will do exactly the same job um, we're just using logical operators there which we've already covered so You've now seen um, a real life example of where you can use die. Um, obviously this can also be exit. So if we refresh the page, it does exactly the same thing, could not connect to database. So that is basically um, the die and exit functions within PHP and how useful they can actually be.